Hello, everyone. Matt Clark, research analyst for Money and Markets here with this week's Stock Power podcast. Today's Power Stock is a children's toy and game producer that's on the rise. It scores a perfect 100 on our Stock Power rating system. But first, I do want to make sure that you're heading over to moneyandmarkets.com each and every day. Adam, Charles, myself, and our entire team work very hard to uh, provide you with safe, sound, smart, simple, and adaptable investment information every day of the week. You can check out my Stock Power daily, where Monday through Friday, I'm going to give you one high highly rated stock according to our stock power rating system that you should consider for your portfolio. You can also use that stock power rating system for free at moneyandmarkets.com. Just go to the top right hand corner of the homepage, type in any ticker and company, pull down the ratings and any analysis we have on the stock. You can do all that for free. Now let's get after it. Now growing up in Kansas uh, as a kid, my family didn't have a lot of money. Um, we, we didn't have a lot of disposable income to buy things like a lot of toys and games. I didn't, I didn't do without. It wasn't that I was just, I had nothing. It, it's just that I, it wasn't extravagant. Um, you know, a, a toy here, a toy there. That was really, you know, about it. Uh, but in today's episode of the Stock Power Podcast, I want to share with you a 100 rated power stock uh, that designs and sells toys, games, and children's play sets around the world because today is a lot different than when I was a kid. Uh, you know, I, toys were just kind of there. We went outside, we played. Now, Toys are all the rage, um, and I've learned more about toys uh, in the last 14 months than I probably ever have before, and that's because my very first grandson was born last year, and my wife and I ha have spent a good amount of money, <laughs> probably more than I would <laughs> I would like to admit, uh, on things like plush toys, games, um, you know, books for his parents to read to him, all those types of things, um, just about anything you could think of. Uh, under the sun for a child, uh, we 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 have uh, we've searched far and wide uh, to find and provide. Um, it's our first grandchild, grandchild, so that's kind of what we're supposed to do, right? Um, and this week's power stock is a company uh, that designs and sells a wide range of children's toys and games around the world. It scores a perfect strong bullish 100 on our stock power rating system. The company uh, just increased its quarterly sales by 96.2% in the most recent quarter reported just a few weeks ago. And its stock is trading about 9.2% off its 52-week high and moving higher. Now, every every parent and every, every grandparent wants to make sure their child has everything that they want. And, and, and when they're young, that means there's toys galore, toys everywhere. Now, the chart I'm showing here uh, is the revenue from the global toy market. In 2017, we spent about $28.9 billion on toys around the world. And that number is going to grow about 119.5% to $63.6 .6 by 2025. So just in a few years, we're going to reach $63.6 .6 .6 billion spent on toys worldwide. And it tells me there's a lot of strength in this market and the time to get in is now. And today's stock helps you do that. It's Jack's Pacific Incorporated. It trades on the NASDAQ and its ticker is J-A-K-K, J-A-K-K. It develops and sells toys, electronics, and other consumer products for children uh, all over the world. And it's got a lot of licensing uh, with some popular brands such as Super Mario Brothers, which would be like Nintendo, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Disney, so they do a, a Disney Princesses line, which is a very, very popular, and Apex Legends, which uh, one of our staff had to remind me that's actually a video game, uh, and, and they do market toys and things like that surrounding Apex Legends. So uh, they, they have a lot of licensing with a lot of big names, and that bodes very well for the company. Now, JAKK scores a 100 on our proprietary stock power rating system. Uh, it means we're strong bullish on the stock, and, and we expect it to beat the broader market by three times over the next 12 months. And the stock's 12-month momentum has been outstanding, and I'm going to tell you more about that here in just a bit. But first, I do want to tell you that JAKK has outstanding uh, fundamental numbers, scoring in the green in all three of our fundamental factors. It recently reported a record-breaking quarter with a 96.2% jump in net sales and a 205.4% jump in quarterly earnings per share. Uh, and that earns the stock an 88 on our growth metric, but it's also an outstanding value stock to boot. So it's kind of good when you get that, that combination of a good growth stock and a good value stock, because sometimes when the market plays one way, it's only value or it's only growth. When you can find when you can find stocks that kind of meet the meet the in the middle and are green on both on both metrics, that's actually a really, really good find. And Jack Specific is one of those. Its price to earnings ratio is 4.4 uh, compared to its industry peer average of, of 13.1. Uh, JAKK's price to sales ratio is nearly three times lower than its peers. That's why it scores a 93 on value. Uh, and basically what it all says is that uh, JAKK is significantly undervalued as, as a stock compared 
to its peers. Now, let's get into that stock price over the last 12 months. Since the middle of June 2022, JAKK has jumped 135.1%. Over the last 12 months, the stock is up 162.2%. Its peers are averaging a loss of 28% over the same time. So JAKK is showing that maximum momentum that we love to see in stocks that we recommend. And the company's revenue shows a lot of promise for the future as well. Lockdowns from COVID in 2020 uh, pushed JAKK sales down about 13.8% from 2019 to 2022. But coming out of COVID, the company has roared back, increasing its sales by 20.4% in 2021. And by the end of this year, JAKK is expected to have annual revenue of about $739 million. That's a 43.2% bump up from 2020. Uh, its recent record-breaking quarter for sales tells me that this upward trajectory is spot on and could actually be even higher than projections are anticipating. Now, as a new grandparent, I can tell you the importance uh, of giving our grandson everything we possibly can. Um, looking at momentum of the toy market tells me that parents and grandparents around the world feel the same way. Um, you know, we, we want to provide everything we can and we love to spoil. And as grandparents, it's great because you can spoil and then give them back to their parents. So it's always nice to kind of have that uh, have that to play on. Um, licensing with Disney and popular video game, video game characters like Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Super Mario, uh, JAKK is only going to get bigger in this space. And the time to jump on the trend is right now. Again, the ticker is J-A-K-K. -K. Now let's move on to last week's YouTube poll question. Interest rates for homes and cars are only getting higher. Uh, and we asked if you were hesitant to buy certain items because of those high interest rates. Overwhelmingly, 86% of those polled said that they were hesitant to buy anything because of higher interest rates. Only 14% said the interest rate hikes were not stopping you from buying at all. Um, I would have to say that with an upcoming uh, Fed rate hike coming uh, here in the immediate future, and possibly more to come by year's end, uh, interest rates are probably only going to get higher for things like homes, cars, personal loans, things like that. Uh, and it's going to make it very difficult uh, to, to get decent competitive rates uh, because interest rates are going to be higher. Um, remember, you can vote in our weekly poll uh, on our YouTube page. Just go into the community tab at our, on, our, uh, on our YouTube page and you'll be, see the poll right there at the very top. If you have a question on a particular stock or uh, you'd like us to kind of analyze uh, parts of the market, you can uh, email us feedback at moneyandmarkets.com. It's feedback at moneyandmarkets.com. We'd love to do that. Um, you know, we, we'd love to, uh, to get your feedback on anything. Maybe you bought into some of the power stocks that uh, have been recommended. Love to hear how that's going for you. Uh, if we feature any of your comments on any of our videos, uh, we'll make sure to hook you up with some very cool money and markets gear. We've got hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, we will hook you up with all of that. Also, make sure you do head over to moneyandmarkets.com and sign up for our free daily e-letter. Uh, seven days a week, we give you safe, sound, smart, simple, adaptable, profitable investment information. Uh, you can also check out our, our proprietary stock power rating system and my stock power daily. In it, from Monday through Friday, I'm going to give you one highly rated uh, power stock that you need to take a look at for your portfolio. And you can use that uh, stock power rating system on the website for free. Go to the homepage at moneymarkets.com and look in the top right-hand corner of that search bar. Uh, type in any ticker or company and you can pull down ratings. You can get fundamental data. You can get all sorts of good stuff and any analysis that we published on, on these stocks. You can get all that for free at moneyandmarkets.com. That's all for me this week. Until next time, this is Money and Markets Research Analyst and host of the Stock Power Podcast, Matt Clark, wishing you all safe trading.